Wicked Wednesday, everybody. This is Wicked Wednesday Shop Talk. I'm running way behind, but that's okay. What I carry today, I did a short this morning, and it's, I hate having to edit it to get it to a short 60-second format, but I do that because uh, it seems like it shares to more people. You know, they watch the 60 seconds, but here is my everyday carry at work. My Sox Seal FX Partial Serrated Blackout. And this is my card of scales that I put on there. Okay, this morning I was cutting, uh, didn't show enough. I was cutting uh, some white PVC. I was cutting some black PVC irrigation pipe is what it was. And it was early in the morning. And uh, uh, I cut uh, some one inch poly rope uh, that was near the pool. But uh, when I was cutting the irrigation, uh, I had already been at work working since four, you know, four thirty, and somebody had asked. The comments gone now, but asked why I was uh, grunting because I was, you know, I was sawing. I was showing what the partial serration does, so I have a short out on that one. I was grunting because my back is still killing me. I'm fixing to go out there and throw and hoping that'll loosen it up a little bit. But uh, the four days of cleaning up that pool, nor'eastern shoveling sand man off the deck that did me in i'm getting too old for that but i'm carrying that i'm sorry and i'm carrying i get off uh my uh vision xr of course partials ready to black out tonto blade this is a uh wicked i think both of these are wicked okay that's my carry for the day now it's traditional i always show you this is my kempo gilhiven kempo karate knife this is the one I've had since 1996. This is the one I use since 1996. I have thrown this in the board. Don't throw it, but I have. You can check out my videos. I slice water jugs with it. I work out with it quite a bit. This is a fighter's knife. It's mahogany wood right here, brass handles, brass palmer. You got some micarta liners right here. Just a beautiful knife. Very, very sharp, very sharp. And uh, really fun to throw. It's got a lot of weight and I do throw it. And it is a rat tail, like I said. Uh, I won't throw it today because it's too heavy to throw. Seriously, I'm whoop. So I got that. Now, I thought what I'd do something different I usually do things like this on Sog Sunday. I reached in my Sog, in one of my Sog collection drawers, and I already know I'm gonna throw, I'll show that in a minute. And I pulled out two knives, and let's see. I'm trying to, guys, show you these knives here. I've shown them before, and I'll probably do shorts on them. I was checking, it's been a while. This is the Sog Team Leader Survivor fixed blade knife USA comes in a nice leather sheath I do not use this this is in my collection very nice sheath there's the old logo I'm gonna whip this thing out here you won't believe it's just gnarly. this is wicked it's perfect very gnarly okay check that out this is Osage steel with a satin finish It has a straight edge blade and a cross cut saw on the top. Look at that, it's both sides. That's a cross cut. You got that side and that side. Nice jipping here. You got a side tail handle, it's full tang. There's your lanyard hole. It's got that pattern for grip. It's very sharp, feels great in the hand. It is a survivor, survivor knife. But man, let me tell you something. I don't even want to go there. You know what I'm talking about? That is the team SOG Team Leader Survivor Fixed Blade Knife USA. Nice leather sheath. Okay. Then the next one. Woo, it's one of my pride and joys. Can't believe I even got it out here in the environment. This is a leather sheath. You got your sharpening stone in the pouch. I put this lanyard on here with a SOG skull. I found somebody selling these on Amazon. I picked up a few of them. 
a couple of them with some special SOG fixed blade knives. I thought that was kind of cool. That looks like the, the old uh, SOG logo, didn't it? Okay, guys, this is, they did the strapping right on this side. This is the SOG, it's wicked. This is the SOG demo fixed blade knife. It's a double edge. Look at that top edge. Look how sharp that is. Yes, it's very sharp. And then on this side, check out the serrations. That is a peer, spear point double edge fixed blade knife. It's made out of Osage steel with a tinny finish. It almost looks blued, doesn't it? The Kraytine handle, this is what they use a lot on their Bowie knives. They were very well known. Nice grip, and there's that checkered pattern. And guys, let me tell you, this is just wicked. It's got some weight, it's solid. And this is one of my favorites in the collection. I'm gonna do a short on that too. I, I like to share that. I know it's not SOG Sunday, but I'm gonna share these two on Wicked Wednesday. So that's the SOG Demo fixed blade knife. Beautiful leather sheath. I'll do the shorts on there and get them out of this uh, hot shot. Today, I'm just gonna do it because it's, it's uh, lightweight. I think it's wicked. I know it's wicked. Because I, I use it and I carry it. This is the uh, SOG Pentagon FX Blackout, the full size. Y'all see me throw the uh, FX Covert quite often now. Uh, I don't know why, I just do. But yeah, this is a dagger, double edge, very sharp, very well balanced. These scales are removable. They're G10 scales with a nice grip. Got jipping there on both sides. The sheath, we talked about that. This is one of them. This has those tent retention uh, tabs on the side. Uh, what that does is uh, it helps your knife sit in uh, tighter in the sheath. You just kind of lower them. Or I'm trying to do this one hand. Here we go. See, it just raises up. And that kind of gives it that tension where it doesn't fall out. I discussed that. There it is. See, that's really tight there. And you just lower them down. That's a genius uh, design. I wish more companies would do that. Then we wouldn't have that problem of uh, uh, loose sheaths. You know what I mean? This is very solid. So this is probably the one I'm going to throw. I think so. I think we'll get to it here in a second if I got time. Okay. Y'all take care. And everybody, uh, sog out.